Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, May 6, 2020 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Cloud providers are continuously adding security features to their offering, whether it's AWS or Microsoft. And a couple of readers actually asked whether or not you even still need sort of your own security team, your own security tools, or whether you could just essentially let it all go and have the cloud providers take care of it. So Russ wrote up a quick diary about this topic and well, the quick summary is, well, not quite. While you definitely should take advantage of whatever features your cloud provider offers and you certainly need to stay in touch with your cloud provider so you know what the latest offerings are. Often they're already included in whatever plan you sign up for, but you still need to take care of configuration of your systems, configuration of these security systems. And of course, you also need to understand what these security systems are doing for you and what, for example, all the messages and the configuration options mean. So while cloud providers certainly have come quite a way and have realized that users need help with some of the specific cloud challenges, you still need a security program because in the end, only you know what your data is worth and how it has to be protected. And then we have a critical update from Citrix for share file storage zone controllers. Apparently the flaw allows an attacker to gain access to the storage zone controller without authentication and modify the configuration. And of course, in doing so, the hacker would then gain access to users' documents and folders, as Citrix states. There are three vulnerabilities being addressed in this update, so please apply it. The patch was actually already released in April, but Citrix back then did not point out this particular vulnerability that's being addressed in the patch. So please refer to Citrix advisory for the exact vulnerable versions and the ones that are fixed. And on Friday, Google released its monthly update for Android. Now, nothing sort of out of the ordinary here. We got uh, three vulnerability in the framework, one of which is critical, but only up to Android version nine. Only two of these vulnerabilities are affecting Android 10. As far as the media framework goes, that's of course always sort of something where we expect some bugs. Android this month patched four of them, three of them affect Android 10 and all of them have a severity of high. The only critical vulnerability affecting Android 10 is actually in system CVE 2020-0103. So in general, nothing sort of out of the ordinary and apply the patch as soon as it becomes available. And while we're talking about patches, Mozilla released an update for Firefox. Also, nothing sort of uh, out of the ordinary here. Some improvements to the built-in password manager lockwise, including warnings if a password has shown up in a breach, as well as requiring the operating system password to see saved logins. And then we got an interesting vulnerability from Dell regarding its Windows 10 OS recovery image. If you use this image and downloaded the image before December 20th, it suffered from an inherited permission issue. What this means is that a user could create a file that then could become executed with administrator privileges. So a pretty straightforward and simple privilege escalation vulnerability. Now, if you used this vulnerable recovery image, no need to do sort of a full recovery again. Instead, you can just install the Dell Security Advisory DSA 2020-059, which will fix the permission issue. 
And I promise no more stories about WordPress plugins and related security problems, but we do have an update to WordPress itself, 541. Nothing super critical here, but some cross-site scripting issues are being addressed. So probably want to apply this. And also these updates tend to be easier to apply if you apply them regularly without skipping a couple of versions. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.